How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and men and women and people? I am Julius Sumner Miller, and physics is my business. The professor, they call me in this place, and you know what wonderful things emerge from here. I want to do this all again with the stoppers and the pins and the forks, because it is something you can do and be enchanted by it. As I say again, a cork stopper with a pin, and there is the pin head, and I will draw that for you. So, pin head right there. Now this is supported in a chamber just for the purpose of support. Now here is another stopper that has a pin in it, and that's the pin point. And as we agreed, if I put the pin point to the pin head, the system is unstable and will most certainly tip over. So what do I have here? I have this stopper with a pin point right there. Now why does it tip over? Well, the center of gravity of this upper stopper is somewhere in the stopper, and it is above that point of support. And so we say the system is unstable. Now, if I take a fork whose center of gravity is somewhere in the handle, there, and another one whose center of gravity is in the handle, and I lodge these forks in here, I will show you forthwith what happens to the center of gravity of the system. There it is. Would you not expect the thing to fall off? No, it doesn't fall off. Why? Because this is why. I have put a fork in there, and I have put a fork in there, and here is the handle, and here is the handle, and the center of gravity of the one fork could well be here, and of the other fork it could well be here, and now the center of gravity of the system is right here, and the center of gravity is below the point of support, and the system is stable. Watch how stable. Oh, notice it fell off. Uh, <clears throat> a little inadvertence. Nature did not trouble me. I did not do it right by nature. Watch. There it is. There it is. Say, that's interesting. This system is in the lowest energy configuration meaning that the energy of this system is the lowest possible. And if I do anything to it, it raises its energy. And nature, you know, wants to behave so that the energy of a system goes downhill. That's why the cone and the cylinder roll downhill. So let me do something to this. Let me lift it up. It has more energy, so it'll go down. Let me push it down. It has more energy. And that's where it wishes to be. Look at that. Oh, notice the top of the pin is a little slippery. And there it is. I just love that. And if you are not enchanted by it, as I have been for 50 years, oh, you need your soul awakened, your spirit enlivened, your curiosity stirred which is the purpose of my business here. And that leads me next, this business of stability of a system, to the Tower of Pisa. Here we have a cylinder, cut a skew on one end, and it tips. A plumb line from its center of gravity falls inside the base. And notice I have named this Galileo, appropriately named. And now, if I raise the center of gravity with a little sliver of the stuff, I have raised the center of gravity and the plumb line has been shifted to the right. If I add another block, I have raised the center of gravity and the plumb line has been shifted further to the right. And pretty soon the plumb line is going to fall on the edge of the bottom, in which case the system will become, un become unstable. Let's see if this is so. Aha, uh -huh. it is so, it is so. A plumb line now from the center of gravity is falling outside the base, and the system is unstable. More on the Tower of Pisa in a forthcoming program, and I thank you for watching.